Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today we have another special lesson all about the body. The body. We're going to study all the different parts of the body and how to pronounce every single part perfectly in English. Okay, so if you want to improve your vocabulary about the human body or you want to make sure you are pronouncing those words in perfect English, then stick with me. Let's learn all about the different parts of the body in English, okay? Okay, let's start right at the very top. On the very top of your body is, of course, your hair. 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 In English, you'll often hear the sentence, what color hair does she have? What color hair do you like? What color hair does he have? Okay, make sure you're pronouncing that diphthong air, air, hair, hair, okay? Hair. Now, where is your hair? Your hair is on your head. Your head. This is your head, okay? Head. It's got that short eh sound. Head. Head, head, okay? Practice with me, head, head. Okay, and on the sides of your head, on each side of your head are your ears, ears, ears. Now, in British English, this is basically just two sounds, ears, ears, ears. Listen carefully, ears, ears, my ear, and my ears. One ear, two ears. Make sure that you're getting that z sound on the end when you're using or you're talking about the plural, two ears. Okay, not two ear, but two ears. Ears. Okay. Next up, we have your forehead. Forehead. This is a bit more of an advanced vocabulary word. Your forehead is this thing right in the middle at the top of your head. Your forehead. For here literally means the front. So the front of your head. Forehead. For head. Practice with me. For head. Forehead. Forehead. If we go down our forehead, the next thing we come to is our eyebrows. 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 They are on the brow of our eyes, okay? And again, their plural is eyebrows, but the single is eyebrow. So one eyebrow, two eyebrows. One eyebrow, two eyebrows, okay? Okay, next up we have your eyes. One eye, two eyes. One eye, two eyes. The eye is actually a word used to describe all of this, okay? Everything that moves when you look around is your eye. Eye and eyes. But your eyes are made up of different parts. The little dot in the middle of your eyes is called the pupil, pupil, and you have two pupils, the pupil in your eye, okay? The actual eye that moves around is called your eyeball, eyeball. The eyeball moves around, okay? Eyeball, eyeballs. And then you have your pupil in the middle. Then you have your eyelids, one eyelid, two eyelids. Your eyelids are what close at night when you want to go to sleep. Eyelids. You can open your eyelid or close your eyelids. Open, close. Eyelid. Eyelid. One eyelid, two eyelids. And then right on the end of your eyelids, you have your eyelashes. Eyelashes. Again, different in the singular. One eyelash, but many eyelashes, okay? Eyelashes, that's these things here. On the edge of your eyelids is your eyelashes. Practice with me, eyelash and eyelashes. And before that, eyelid 
and eyelids. Okay. Next, we have our nose. Nose. Okay. Nose. Your nose. Again, make sure you're pronouncing that O. O. It's a diphthong sound again. Nose. No. Z. Nose. Your nose. Your nose is used, of course, for smelling things. Smelling things. Your nose. Nose. And the smell comes out of the air and it goes up your nostrils. Nostrils. One nostril, two nostrils. That's the little holes at the bottom of your nose where the smells go up, okay? Your nostrils. Nostrils. Practice with me. Nostrils. Nostrils, okay? Next is our cheeks. You have two cheeks. One here and one here. Your cheeks. One cheek, two cheeks. Cheeks. You'll often hear people say, she has rosy cheeks, okay? Nice rosy cheeks. Rosy cheeks, okay? Cheek and cheeks. Make sure you're getting that ch, -ch, -ch sound, the C-H. Cheeks. Cheeks. One cheek, two cheeks. Cheeks, okay? Then we have, of course, our mouth. And again, our mouth is just a general word used to describe all of this, okay? Mouth. Make sure you're pronouncing that TH sound correctly at the end of this word. Mow with that TH, the voiceless TH at the end. Mouth. Mouth. Mow. Mow. Okay? Mouth. Now, your mouth is made up, of course, of your lips. And we have your upper lip, sometimes called the top lip, and your lower lip, sometimes called your bottom lip. Okay, your top lip and bottom lip, or upper lip and lower lip. They are your lips. Lips. Now, make sure that when you've got the P and the S together, like in the word lips, that you're saying both. You're saying both the P, P, and the S, S. Lips. Lips. That's perfect pronunciation. Lips. Lips. My lips. Okay? Then, of course, inside your mouth, you have your teeth. And this one's a little bit different because the word changes spelling depending on whether we're talking about one or many. One tooth with the O-O, the double O. One tooth. One tooth. But many teeth. Teeth. Many teeth. Okay? One tooth. Ooh, 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 tooth, but many, e, 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 teeth. Tooth and teeth. Make sure you practice that one a lot. Tooth and teeth, okay? Then, of course, in the middle of our mouth, we have our tongue. Tongue. Stick your tongue out is something that a doctor might sometimes say. Your tongue is this, your tongue. Make sure, again, that you're pronouncing tongue and then that g. Tongue. Tongue. Your tongue. You can have a long tongue or a short tongue. Tongue. And of course, your tongue is used to taste things. Remember, your nose is used to smell. Your tongue is used to taste things. Okay? Okay, the next part is your jaw. Your jaw. Okay? Your jaw is all of this thing that helps you to talk here. Your jaw. Listen carefully. Jaw. Make sure you're getting that j, j, j sound with the letter J at the beginning. J, j, jaw. 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 Okay? When people are talking about handsome men in English or beautiful women, they might say, he has a really nice jawline. Jawline. A strong looking jawline. Or, she has a really feminine jawline, jawline, okay? Your jawline, jawline. And on the bottom of your jaw, right here, is your chin, your chin, okay? Chin, chin. Make sure you're getting that CH sound correct there. Ch, 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 
chin. Your chin, okay? Some people, when they get older, have a double chin or a treble chin, okay? Chin. Chin. Now, in some men's case, you might have two more things on your face that women might not have. These are, here, you can have a moustache that today I've shaved, okay? A moustache, moustache, moustache. And you can also, here and up here, have a beard, 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 okay? So, moustache here and beard, beard here, okay? Moustache and beard, beard. Okay, next up is, of course, our neck, neck, your neck. Make sure you're pronouncing the N at the beginning and the at the end very strongly. Neck, neck, neck. In the middle of our neck, here, is our throat, throat. So, for example, if you feel sick, you don't say, I have a sore neck here. If it's here and it's inside, you would say, I have a sore throat. My throat is hurting. I'm finding it hard to talk. My throat is hurting, okay? I have a sore throat. That's when you take medicine, throat and neck, okay? Neck and throat, throat. Be careful with that word because it's got a TH and an R and it's really hard to combine those letters. You've got th and r together, throat, throat. Watch how much my mouth moves, throat, throat, throat. It's a little bit like the word throw throw, but with a t on the end, throat, throat, okay? Next up, of course, we have shoulders. You have two shoulders. One shoulder, two shoulders. Listen carefully. Shoulders. Shoulders. One shoulder, two shoulders. And we also have two bones here, which we call our collarbone. Collarbone. Your collar is this part of your t-shirt here. The t-shirt collar. Collarbone. Collarbone. And then two bones that go down here are your collarbone. Collarbone. Okay. Next up, of course, is our chest. Chest. Okay. Chest. That's this thing here. Chest. Make sure you're getting that CH sound correct. Again, ch, ch, ch. Chest chest, chest, okay? Then just below our shoulders, we have our arms, okay? And our arms are made up of different parts. We've got our upper arm, that's this part at the top, and the upper arm, you probably know from movies where somebody says, he has really big biceps. That's the muscle on the top, and your triceps are at the bottom. Next, below your upper arm, you have your elbow, elbow, elbow. And of course you have two of these again, one elbow, two elbows, two elbows, okay? Your elbows. And then below your elbow, this part of your arm is your forearm. Remember that word earlier, your forehead? It's the same word, forearm, forearm. But this time the the R in the middle connects them together. So instead of forearm, we have forearm, forearm, forearm. This is your forearm. But if we keep going, at the bottom of your forearm, you have your wrist. Just before your hand here and your arm, forearm here, you have here your wrist. It's where you wear a watch to tell the time. If you have a watch, the full name of a watch is a wristwatch, wristwatch, because we wear it on our wrists, wrists, okay? This wrist or this wrist, your wrist. Now you'll notice that in the word wrist, the W is silent. We just pronounce the R, wrist, wrist. One wrist, two wrists, two wrists, okay? And then next we have our hands. And our hands are made up of different parts too. Here, 
The front of your hand is called the palm of your hand. The palm of your hand. You can hold something in the palm of your hand. The palm of your hand. One palm, two palms. Palms. Then we have, of course, the back of our hand. We just say the back of my right hand or the back of my left hand. The back of my hand. The back of my hands. Okay. Next up, of course, is our fingers. Fingers. You've got how many fingers do you have in English? Some people say you've got five fingers on this hand and five fingers on this hand. But actually, you've kind of got four fingers on this hand, four fingers on this hand, and then two thumbs. Two thumbs. Okay, so fingers, fingers, and thumbs. One thumb, two thumbs. You'll often see in Facebook or lots of other places the thumbs up icon. Thumbs up means really good or thumbs down normally means something bad, okay? Thumbs up and thumbs down. Now on the end of your fingers you have your fingernails. Fingernails, okay? Your fingernails. And some people say fingernails for these things on your thumb too, but another word for them is your thumbnails. Thumbnails, which interestingly is the same as the word Thumbnail, which means a small picture in English, okay? Your fingernails and your thumbnails. Your fingernails and your thumbnails, okay? Okay, now, fingers also have different individual names in English. So, of course, we can start with our thumb, your thumb. Thumb is this one, okay? One thumb, two thumbs. Then you have your index finger. Index fingers index fingers. Next you have your middle finger, your middle finger and middle fingers. Next is your ring finger, your ring finger. This is because it's where people wear wedding rings. You put your wedding ring on your ring finger, your ring finger. And finally we have the little finger, which in English is sometimes called your pinky finger. Pinky finger, okay? So, start again. You've got your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and oh, I can't do it, your little finger, okay? Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger, okay? Okay, then we're going to go a little bit lower down now and talk below your chest is your stomach. Stomach. People say stomach, but actually they mean the outside. They mean not the part of you that helps eat food, but they mean this area, okay? Your stomach, stomach. You can also use the word abdomen, abdomen. It's a little bit more of an advanced word, abdomen. Abdomen is all of the area on the front here, okay? This is your abdomen, abdomen. Okay, practice with me. Abdomen. Abdomen. In the middle of your abdomen, you have your belly button. Belly button. Now, in English, this is a button. Many clothes have buttons. You do up your buttons. But you also have one on your body in English. And it's called your belly button. Because belly in English is a slang word for your abdomen or your stomach. Your belly your belly. You can say, he has a big belly, or he has a small belly. You can even say, he has a beer belly, if he drinks too much beer and is really round belly. A beer belly, okay? Belly button. Your belly button. Your belly button, okay? Next, of course, is your waist. Your waist, okay? You can have a slim waist or a large waist. When you go to the shop to buy trousers or jeans, they will ask you, what size waist are you? What size waist are you? I am a size 32 waist. I'm a size 34 waist, okay? What size waist are you? Waist, waist. Okay, moving on, we've got our legs, and our legs are made up of lots of different parts, okay? So, at the very top of your 
legs, the bones that help you to move like this are your hips. Hips. If somebody says in English, move your hips, move your hips, they mean go like this, okay? Your hips. One hip and two hips. But then a little bit lower down, we have our thighs. Thighs. One thigh. Two thighs. You can have big thighs or little thighs. 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 Very difficult to pronounce because you've got silent letters at the end and you've got the th at the beginning. Thighs. One thigh, two thighs. 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 Okay, practice with me. Thighs. Thighs. Okay. Below your thighs is, of course, your knees. One knee, two knees. Now, remember this one because it's got that silent k. There's no k sound in here. When, when the k comes before the letter n in English, it's always silent. So we don't say k knee, we say knee, knee. One knee, two knees. Now, on the top of your knees is your knee cap. You know when you wear a, a cap on your head? Well, in English, we have a cap on our knees too. That little bone on the front of your knees is called your kneecap, your kneecap. And you have two in English, so it's your kneecaps, 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 okay? Okay, so that's your upper legs. Your upper legs are your thighs and your hips. Then you've got your knees and your kneecaps, and then you have your lower legs. Your lower legs are made up of three different parts. At the front of your lower legs is your shins. Shins. One shin with that soft sh sound. Shin. And two shins. Shin. Shins. If you're playing a sport where people are kicking a lot, like football, most footballers wear shin pads. That's to protect their shins. Shins. So on the front of your lower leg is your shins, and on the back are your calves. Calves. And this is a really strange one because in English, if you're talking about one, it's your calf. Calf. But if you're talking about two, and we all have two, hopefully, you would say calves. One calf with that f, 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 and two calves with a more v sound, okay? Calf and calves. Below your calves and your shins is your ankle. Two ankles. This is a really interesting one to pronounce because you've got that all, all sound. Ankle, 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 okay? Ankle my ankle and my ankles. You'll often hear the phrase, if you're walking for a really long time in English, you could say, oh, my ankles are hurting. I've bought some new shoes and they don't fit. My ankles are hurting. One ankle, two ankles. One ankle, two ankles, okay? Okay, and then right at the bottom of your body are your feet. One foot, but two feet. Make sure you remember that change. One foot with that uh, 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 foot, and two feet. One foot, two feet. On the front of your feet, of course, are your toes. Your toes. Just like on your hands, you have fingers and fingernails. On your feet, you have toes and toenails. And normally, we just refer to our toes as toes, but we also have one really big toe. And in English, guess what it's called? It's called your big toe. Really clever, right? Your big toe. So you've got your toes and then you've got your big toe, your big toe or your big toes. And of course, on your toes, just like on your fingers, you have your toenails, toenails, toenails. Okay. Fingernails and toenails. Fingernails and toenails. Now, the very bottom of your feet, under your feet, is called the sole of your feet. 
the sole of your foot or the soles of your feet. The sole of your foot or the soles of your feet. That means the, the underneath, the bottom of your feet is the soles of your feet. At the back, that really thick, strong part at the back of your foot is called your heel. Heel. That's why when women buy high heels, that's what the shoes are. Because they make your heel high. They make your heel go up. They're called high heels. Okay, high heels because the heel of your foot is high up. Heel and heels. Then you've got the ball of your feet. That's at the front just before your toes. You can stand on the balls of your feet and it makes you taller. If I stand on the ball of my feet, it makes me taller. The balls of my feet, okay? So you've got the heel at the back and the ball at the front. Heels and balls of your feet, okay? Okay, let's have a very quick test. Question number one. What is this? My finger is touching what? Can you write that in the comments? You just write number one and then what this is. Number one, what is this in English? And number two, what is this in English? Can you remember what this is in English? Okay. And number three, I want you to write what is it at the front of your feet that can make you taller? What is it at the front of your feet that if you stand on it can make you taller? Okay. So I want you to go back and watch this again and practice every word until you've mastered every single body part word in English, okay? And you've got perfect pronunciation. Thank you very much for watching today. Remember, if you're learning something from these lessons and you're enjoying them, hit that like button, subscribe, or share this video with your friends so you can help other people to master English pronunciation too, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again for another lesson. Bye-bye.